Watch on CL. See if it stalls here on this support. So right now what I'm doing is I'm verifying and validating the support line. Saying that other traders are seeing the support and are reacting to the support. And it seems pretty obvious that they are at this point. Doesn't mean they always will. All right, so I got a one tick better fill on the um, CL. So I bought the CL. And there's plus five on the CL. And that's how that's supposed to work. Okay, so let's look at this. All right, so I talk about it all the time. We're in a channel, right? Yeah, a little bar here. Channel, little bar, channel. So really kind of tight. Notice the size of the bars and then whammo. Look at the size of this bar relative to these bars. Okay, so that's an important thing to notice. Now we push down here, hit this major line of support. Tagged it. You saw price jumping around right afterwards, but it hit right on that line. Then we got oversold. We have our speed tick saying that it's probably a manipulated bar because the orders are being processed much more quickly than retail traders can do it. We have our pullback alert saying that inside this bar, and it was pretty obvious if you watched it, you could watch the seller, sell, sellers, and then right here, the buyers suddenly became interested but there were still a lot of sellers so now we have buyers and sellers fighting each other very obvious when you watch the price action inside this bar so when that happens we're oversold here so obviously exhaustion is setting in if the sellers are exhausted exhausted and the buyers are not they've just been sitting down here waiting who's likely to win boom that tells us right there. Now, with this open with a rock star, backed up a little, and I actually got filled one tick better than the open. Um, backed up a little, and then off it went for a plus five on the CL.